हे गाइस वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन आवर चैनल दैट इज अचीव आई ए सो फ्रेंड्स एज यू नो दैट ऑन आवर चैनल वी हैव स्टार्टेड अ ईयर लॉन्ग टेस्ट सीरीज फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यूपीएससी विद हिस्ट्री एज देयर ऑप्शनल सो व्हाट वी डू इन दिस ईयर लॉन्ग टेस्ट सीरीज वी डेली गिव यू अ टॉपिक फॉर फॉर द रीडिंग एंड वी आल्सो गिव यू द वीकली टारगेट्स एंड एट द एंड ऑफ द एट द एंड ऑफ एवरी वीक वी टेक योर टेस्ट एंड द एंड ऑफ द एट द एंड ऑफ द एवरी मंथ वी टेक द टेस्ट ऑफ योर whole entire month uh, that uh, that is the topics uh, that you have covered in the entire month so in this way we take uh, uh, approximate five te tests in one man one month so let's see what are the uh, what are the topics which you have to study for today so as uh, we have just started this initiative yesterday we covered the part of uh, sources of indian history that is literary and your archaeological and foreign accounts and uh, indigenous accounts so today's topic is about your prehistory and proto history so friends uh, you might be uh, uh, kind of aware of this thing that uh, this pro proto history and prehistory is basically that phase of uh, the history when uh, there is no written account or if the written account is available it is not deciphered so pre in prehistory and proto history you have to re uh, read about the geographical factors which shaped the indian history and also along with that you have to study about the hunting and the gathering communities uh, of uh, paleolithic and uh, your uh, mesolithic periods and then comes your beginning of agriculture of neolithic period so in these uh, uh, topics you will have uh, the upsc may ask you uh, map based questions or they may ask you you kind of a short uh, short question uh, on uh, on a particular site so you you will have to write about that particular site so it is a important topic because uh, upsc has now changed the strategy questions are uh, asked from topics which are uh, less conventional as compared to others so usually students prepare those topics and in fact some students start their preparation uh, from in this valley civilization <laughs> so uh, they think that uh, prior to prior to that there is no no history for, of india and, uh, but but let me tell you friends uh, that is uh, that it is an important uh, phase of your history that is prehistory and proto history so So don't miss it. It is necessary to read it. So do ensure that you today you read it. And uh, uh, now let's uh, uh, let me explain to those students who are seeing my video for the first time that what this initiative is all about. So friends, this is an initiative for the uh, for the history optional students, and it is a year long plan to cover entire syllabus of history optional through test series. and uh, uh, how it will work uh, basically uh, uh, it is a basically 9 months time table to be precise so you have to follow this and it has been started from 13 may 2019 and it will continue till 13 february 2020 and uh, there will be weekly targets that will be given to you and in these weekly targets we will daily give you the topics that you will have to read uh, uh, on that particular on a particular day so on every sunday we will take your test and this uh, test uh, will be of your weekly targets and this test will comprise of six questions and answers uh, will be evaluated within two days of the test so for example if the test is on sunday you will get the evaluated uh, answer sheets by tuesday so on the last day of the every month we, there will be a revision test of 20 questions and model answer of each answer, uh, question will also be shared with you so uh, we will not just evaluate your questions and will will not only provide you the feedback but also a synopsis type of uh, a particular question will also be shared with you so that you can uh, do a value addition in your uh, questions so this model answer will be shared to you within 4 days of the test and the syllabus of history optional will be revised 3 times in 9 months through th these tests so how it will benefit uh, you uh, basically optional uh, subject friends as you know that uh, it carries uh, um, it carries 500 marks so 500 marks uh, uh, is a, is a large number so uh, it plays a decisive role in aspirant selection or that for that matter in SP, uh, whether the uh, student will make into the uh, mains list uh, sorry pre, uh, interview list or not or for that matter which which cadre it will get so it is the it is the optional that decides your uh, uh, fortunes and uh, Uh, and it it requires uh, thus uh, this optional subject requires a quite uh, uh, serious attention and also you will have revised this history optional syllabus three times even before your prelims because we have uh, uh, kind of framed your timetable in such a way that uh, you will be uh, able to cover your first uh, revision by september and uh, and then we will start your second uh, 
uh, revision and then there will be third revision so uh, you will uh, you will have revised three times uh, the, the entire syllabus even before your prelims so at that at the time of uh, exam you will not have to worry about the syllabus uh, you will focus only on tests and tests will be carefully crafted to include the past year papers as well because uh, uh, UPSC has the habit of asking questions from the past papers especially in case of uh, optional subjects so that's why we will cover past papers as well and uh, which sources will be covered so sources as you know if you are a history optional student then you might be knowing the standard sources uh, they are basically IGNO and BA and MA notes and uh, old NCRTs uh, and then comes your uh, uh, for ancient India it is a very nice book is there of by Upinder Singh and it is uh, uh, the name of it is a history of ancient and early medieval India uh, other book is early India by Romil Romila Thapar and uh, then there is medieval India part 1 and part 2 by Satish Chandra and then comes here from Plasti to Partition of India and after by Shekhar Bandopadhyay and uh then comes your mastering uh, modern world history by Norman Lue and uh, any other necessary source. So we will also be covering any other necessary source if uh, there there will be any. There, uh, so what is the fee structure friends as we are putting in lot of effort so certainly there is a fee structure and it is rupees 9000. Uh, 9, but in case uh, you find it uh, quite large then you can also join us on component basis that for example uh, it is 2500 per component for example it is uh, 25 500 for ancient India and similarly 2500 for medieval India and also for modern India it is 2500 and for world history it is 2500 so um, you can join also on uh, us on a component basis also so uh, basically when the initiative will start obviously it has started and uh, 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 today is 14 May so we have we had started this initiative on 13 May that is yesterday so don't think that you have too much time because the early you start the more beneficial it will be so uh, in case you want to subscribe then you can email us at this email id that is achieveies21 at the red gmail.com or you can also contact uh, us at our number that is 89684264814 or, so, or you can join our public telegram channel so this is our public telegram channel so you can if you wish to subscribe you can subscribe so this is all about friends uh, today's video if you like this video then please do ensure that you like it share it with share it with your friends and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel so thank you friends have a very nice day